All right, we have a viewer question, Dr. Darian here for you, and here it is. Are elective full body MRI scans worth the cost? That's from Luke K. And this question you have to qualify by, yeah. if you can afford it. If you can afford it. I think DeMarco wrote this question. <laughs> um, so many people are asking this question. You've been seeing it in the headlines. Some uh -huh. people have been seeing it in their, um, in their social media ads. If you look and you can see, oh, get an MRI for a certain amount of money. I can understand where that curiosity comes from. Getting a full body MRI, many people believe that maybe you'll catch something that you can help mm -hmm. prevent in the future. And while that does happen in certain cases, for the most part, if you look at the American College of Radiology, there has been no evidence that has shown that getting a regular screening of a full body MRI can, I know you're, DeMarco, don't make that face. <laughs> getting a regular full body MRI doesn't improve or, uh, or improve your outcome or quality of life. And But I understand where it comes from. But sometimes if you get an MRI like that, it can lead to incidental findings where you're just basically looking up things that may not be significant for your health. You're getting more testing, you're getting biopsies, and you might be exposing yourself to more harm. Oh no. And so when you're doing, when you're doing something like getting a full body MRI that doesn't have any indication, it can lead you down a path of more testing that can cause you more problems. All right, thank you, Dr. Terry. Of course, What's of your course. prescription for wellness? Uh, it's about testing. It's about when you're getting testing. I, I think that there are some key important things everyone should understand when you're about to get a blood test or any kind of image uh, that has been instructed by your doctor. First of all, ask the question, why do I need it? You want to know what are the reasons for getting the test and also what are the dangers of the side effects of that test? For most, it's just a simple blood test or a simple image. But if you're getting radiation, for example, you want to make sure that you limit that as much as possible. And then you also want to ask the most important question, how and when am I going to get the results. I often have patients coming into the emergency room, sometimes not with an emergency at all, just simply with an abnormal test result, and they're fearful, and I understand it. I think that it's our job as providers and doctors to interpret that information, and sometimes it gets lost, and patients are just left at home feeling stressed and anxious. And then also, what will you know after that test? What are you going to do with that result? Is it going to change anything in your life? Is there any point of it? If not, maybe you might decide to avoid that test. So I think that these are all the questions that we should all be asking when we get tested for anything. Yeah, it's good to understand. Well, yeah, I'll go to the doctor for anything. I'm like, scan me, test me for everything. I, I, we know DeMarco. I <laughs> <laughs> didn't blow up his phone with all the questions. It's right, a good thing we have your cell phone number. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> we would love to hear from you, so hit us up on Instagram with all of your medical questions at ABCGMA3. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.